Hello, I'm Liz and I'm a student ambassador from the International Programs Office and today I'm here with two of our international students, Harley and Eddie, to talk about Mid-Autumn's Festival. Um, if, before we get started, you guys could introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Eddie. I'm a, this is my second year at Augie and I'm in from China and I'm the business manager at, for ASO. Hi, my name is Harley and I'm from Hanoi, Vietnam. I'm a sophomore at Augie this year and I'm an event coordinator for an Asian student organization. So to get us started, I'll give a little bit of a background on Mid-Autumn's Festival. It is also known as Moon Festival and it's celebrated in the eighth month of the Chinese calendar at the night of the full moon. If you guys could explain a little bit more of the history behind it. So Mid-Autumn Festival originated in China and is celebrated in many Asian countries, but Vietnamese have our own traditions and tales attached to it. So the most famous version is the Bao Gui, a young farmer who held on to a magical tree and it folded up to the moon. So now on the night of the Mid-Autumn Festival, children would bear lanterns across the street as a way to light the way back to Earth for Gui. And another part, important part of the Mid-Autumn Festival is the celebration of the harvest season. When farmers are done with harvesting and now they have time to celebrate with their loved ones. Yeah, kind of going along with the story of Gui, China has a similar story with the story of Chang'e and Hou Yi, where they are just basically a young young couple that will only meet specifically once per year on this very special day. So kind of going on with that, the, the gathering of this couple also means a family gathering for the Chinese families. And would you guys be able to explain a little bit more about um, what you do to celebrate? So on the night of the mid-autumn festival children would bear brightly colored lanterns and we would parade around the neighborhood singing songs there would be lion dancers and drums and as a family all across the country we would prepare a tray of five different types of food and moon cakes and we offer it to our ancestors on the altar and after worshiping we would take the tray down and eat it together as a family. Yes, as for China, the, the similar things will happen. So we usually have like cake, moon cake, whether it's small, like small, two, inch, two inches wide, to something that's really huge, like eight inches wide. So what's fun thing about moon cake is that no matter how small they are, we always cut them in pieces. For example, for like a two inch moon cake, we'll cut it into like four, four pieces and each person will usually get a quarter of it and what's fun about this is that in the middle of our moon cake there's a egg yolk which symbolically represents the moon hmm. do you have anything else to add about maybe traveling or oh yes like in china there's like a like my autumn festival is like a three-day holiday where people will just like go back their home and for like family gathering and they would just literally stay up all night during on that very specific day, cause cause on that night we will have a like a table of food. You can just go and grab whatever you want, even your neighbors. Mm, that's awesome. And in Vietnam, is most importantly an occasion where you can, you know, express gratitude and give thanks for the food and the bounty that the earth offers, and it's a way to spend quality time with your family. Awesome. So this year in our calendar, Mid-Autumn Festival lands on October 1st. So if you guys would like to go and say hi to some of your international student friends and wish them a happy Mid-Autumn Festival, um, and also maybe at night go and look at the full moon and just appreciate it for the beauty that it is. Um, thank you so much, Harley and Eddie, for joining us and sharing your culture with us. Yeah, thank you for inviting us. Thank you for having us. Yeah.